This presentation has been prepared by Musaif Emin, docent of Orthopedic Dentistry Department. Complete dentures, instructions and insertion. Insertion stage. Inspection of the finished denture, clinical evaluation of the denture, checking the border extension, checking the support, checking the stability, checking the retention, checking the occlusion, checking the aesthetic, checking the speech, refinement of the occlusion, post-insertion care and instruction. Insertion appointment. In order to successfully complete this appointment, you will need the polished dentures, the articulator with the maxillary mount cast mounted and the mandibular mount cast. Inspection of the finished denture. Evaluating this site. Evaluating of the teeth side of the denture base for undercut areas and accuracy of teeth contact. The fitting surface must show no irregularities. The entire periphery should be rounded and highly polished. The edges of the relief area should be rounded. Each denture should be evaluated in individually. Before inserting the denture, paint the entire teeth side of the denture base with a thin coat of pressure disclosing past. Insert and remove the denture when teeth uh, undercuts are present. The past will be voided from the denture base in the area of teeth contact. When the undercut array is positively established, relieve the denture by grinding with an acrylic burr. Insertion appointment. Examine the teeth side of the dentures and carefully remove any bubbles uh, present with a Kingsley uh, scalper of other sharp instrument. Prior, prior to delivery, the dentures must be soaked in water for um, seven to hours. Insertion appointment sequ sequence. Adjust denture base, adjust denture borders, remount in uh, centric relation, Equilibrate in la lateral excursion, patient education. Prior to the insertion appointment, the old dentures must be left out of the mouth for 24 hours. Purpose Insertion appointment. The insertion appointment is the process of eliminating errors. Pipefully executing the steps of the insertion appointment will save time and money. Clinical evolution of the denture. Rating of borders. Checking for adaptation. Checks at the posterior palatal seal using mouse mirror. There should be no space. Patient in ask to say ah in Unex, uh, exaggerate short bursts, checking for border extension, checks are elevated and borders are examined. Buccal and labial mucosa are stretched to check for denture displacement, checking for frenal relief. Labial frenum is very thin and require a deep notch. A shallow relief should be given for buccal frena. Evaluating borders. Maxillary arch. 
Apply a disclosing wax to the border of the maxillary denture in the same manner as the impression compound was applied during the border molding procedures. Instruct the patient to open the jaw as in wing, push the lower jaw forward and move the lower jaw from right to left. Therefore, overextension can be determined. Relevant existing overextension by grinding and polish the relief area. Mandibulage. Apply disclosing wax to the mandibular denture borders. Instruct the patient to repeat the same movement that were made in border molding. Relieve by grinding any over extending areas and polish the relief surface. Adjusting the denture base. Zinc oxide paste is used as a pressure indicating past to detect improper adaptation. Here it was it has been placed into a disposable syringe for easy use. The PIP spray is used in patients with xerostomia and in order to prevent the PIP from sticking to the mucosa. Adjusting the denture base. PIP sequence. Dry denture surface. Brush a thin even layer of PIP onto the surface of the denture. Seat the denture with pressure in the first molar region. Remove immediately. Inspect and adjust bearing surface as necessary. Adjusting the data base. The PIP pattern indicates several pressure on the portion of the denture that overlies the torus. Adjusting the denture base. This area is adjusted in with an acrylic burr. When, when completed, the brush marks are mostly absent and the posterior palatal seal bead in showing. Adjusting the denture base. PIP is a mandibular denture. Use smooth, even brush strokes. Carefully insert denture so as. Pay particular attention to the milohyoid ridge region. Adjusting the denture base. Note the areas of excessive teeth pressure on the labial and buccal slopes on the ridge. These are carefully adjusted with an acrylic burr. When completed with this procedure, most of the brush marks should be obliterated and the should no areas of teeth displacement notes. Adjusting the denture borders. Disclosing wax is used to check the length on the denture borders. In this example, it has been placed in a disposable syringe. Temper the wax in the syringe in a water bath. Apply disclosing wax to the dry denture border. Carefully insert the denture and mold the borders of the selected area. Adjusting the denture borders. Carefully adjust the denture flank as necessary. Reply border mold and adjust until areas of overextension are eliminated. Adjusting the denture borders. Other examples of commonly overextended areas. These flanks are too thick. These flanks are too long. Evaluating 
the retention and stability of denture retention by applying dislodging forces as attempting to remove the denture posterior palatal seal is checked by gently pressing the anterior teeth perpendicular to the path of insertion if adequate we can feel the resistance stability using the fingers pad applying pressure on the occlusal surface at the premolar region on each side alternatively if that caused the denture to tilt rock and dislodge from the ridge at other side this may indicates that there is a problem in stability as if the teeth was positioned buccally anterior seal is checked by pulling against the path of insertion occlusion in complete denture prosthodontics index introduction concepts of complete denture occlusion balanced occlusion lingualized occlusion monoplane occlusion this occlusion of teeth arrangement on the various occlusal schemes A summary references introduction definition of occlusion history development of dental occlusion biomechanics of occlusion differences between natural and artificial occlusion review of literature introduction occlude means to close the static relationship between the seizing or masticating surfaces of the maxillary or mandibular teeth or tooth analogs gpt8 the act of process of closure or of being closed or shut off any contact between the incising or masticating surfaces of the maxillary and mandibular teeth Occlusion is an important factor which governs the retention and stability of the complete denture in vivo. Terminologies Centric occlusion, the occlusion of opposing teeth when the mandible is in centric relation. This may or may not coincide with the maximal intercuspal position centric occlusion an occlusion other than centric occlusion maximum interspation complete intercuspation of opposing teeth independent of condylar positions Ex exclusive movement movement according occurring when mandible moves away from maximum inter Caspation. Balancing side or non working side, the side of mandible which moved, moves during median line during lateral excursions. Balancing interferences. Undesirable contacts occurring of balancing side during lateral movements. History Mammals evolves from a group of mammal like reptiles about uh, 218 and 119 million years ago. Reptiles cannot bring their upper and lower teeth together and cannot chew. They, their teeth cannot move because they are ankylosed. But by the time the earliest known mammal had evolved, these no had two sets of dentitions, and the upper and lower teeth could be occluded. 
if you don't have one replacement set I you two dentitions probably evolve as a result of the increasing efficiency of the dentition created by the use and wear of teeth that would share against each other. There is no point in producing a succession of such inefficient uh, dentitions as every newly erupted molar because of its high and warm cusps would have disrupted the smoothly efficient uh, shear edges which are created by attrition. Early wear of teeth in a gorilla. Early wear of teeth in a human who lived about 100 years ago. The wear has produced produced sharp edge of animal on the first molar which is very efficient for assuring and cutting of coarse food and the flatter occlusal surface allows for efficient grinding. This person was a coastal dweller and lived on a variety of foods including fish and crustaceans. scenes. The other teeth still have animal occlusal surfaces. A deciduous dentition also helps to solve the problem of providing a child with a most effective masticatory apparatus appropriate to the uh, to their needs at that time and consi consistent with the space available in the jaws. The potential mm, functional weakness of a transition period is uh, minimized by the sequence of events. When the central incisors are lost, the deciduous lateral incisors and canines can be used to incise food. With loss of the deciduous molars does not prevent uh, crushing and grinding because the first permanent molars are already in place. The earlier uh, development of a gum for this periodontal ligament type attachment allowed the position of each tooth to be adjusted after eruption in response to force product during a shearing so that it normally ends up in the most efficient position. Development of dental occlusion the term occlusion is derived from Latin word occlusio defined as the relationship between all the components of the muscle masticatory system in normal function, dysfunction and parafunction. An ideal occlusion is the perfect interdigitation of the upper and lower teeth which is a result of developmental process consisting of the three main events jaw growth, tooth formation and eruption. Occlusal de development can be divided into the following development periods neonatal period, primary dentition period, mixed dentition period and permanent dentition period. The first lasts up to six months after birth. Two period is from around the six months to six years. A three period is around six years to twelve years and uh, fourth period is uh, over 
12 years onwards. Consistency in pattern development. Layton has shown uh, that the upper anterior rumpact intercuspid width is uh, typically wider than the lower anterior pad and the upper anterior gum pad protrude over jet about 5 mm relative to the lower anterior gum pad. The upper anterior gum pad usually overlaps over bite the lower anterior pad by about 0.5 mm. In the first uh, six months this, uh, of um, postnatal life, uh, there is marked uh, palatal voice increase and the overjet decreases rapidly. Primary dentition uh, tenus. By three years of age, the occlusion of 20 primary teeth is usually established. The relationship of the distal terminal planes is planes of opposing second primary molar teeth can be classified into one of three categories large terminal plane, terminal plane, distal step, mesial step. Dental arch relationships. The maxillary arch is usually wider than the mandibular arch. Maxillary cusps. Mandibular cusps. Reduced case to normal dental occlusion present in natural dentition consists five keys. Keys one molar relationship, keys two crown angulation, keys three crown inclination, torque, keys four rotation, keys five tight. Contacts case six curve of speed consists six case six case case one according to Andrew's definition normal occlusion existed exists when the mesiobuccal cusp of the maxillary first permanent molar occludes in the groove between the mesial and middle buccal cusps of the mandibular first permanent molar. Key 2. The gingival portion of the crowns of all teeth is more distal than the incisal or occlusal portion of the crowns. The long axis of all crowns of the teeth with the Exception of the molars is considered the main mid development reach of the facial surfaces of the teeth. The long axis of the crown of the molar teeth is uh, considered to be the buccal groove and its extension to the gingiva. Key 3 Crown Inclination. This refers to the labiolingual axial inclination of the anterior teeth and buccolingual axial inclination of the posterior teeth. In upper incisors, the gingival portion of the crown's labial surface is lingual to the sisal portion. In all other crowns, including lower in Scissors, the gingival portion of the labial or buccal surface is labial or buccal to the incisal or occlusal portion. Key 4. Rotation. The fourth key to optimal occlusion is absence of tooth rotations. Key 5.
five third contacts. There should be no spaces between the teeth. Contact points should, but unless a discrepancy exists in a mesodistal crown diameter. Key six curve of spi. The depth of the curve of spi should be parallelly flat, ranging from 0.5 mm to 1.5 mm at its deepest point. An average curve of spi is uh, 1 mm. The mechanics of occlusion. Your movements. Only the mandibular arch moves, working lateral trusive movement towards the side that the mandible moves towards, non-working, medial trusive balancing movement not the side that the mandible moves towards, protrusion moving the mandible forward in an anterior posterior plane, retrusion moving the mandible backwards in an anterior posterior plane. Mandibular movement. Mandibular movement can be broken down into a series of motions that occur around three different axes. Mandibular movement. Various mandibular movements are composed of motion occurring uh, concurrently about one ax axis or more. Mandibular movement. The up and down motion of the mandible is a combination of two movements. Pure hinge movement occurred as a result of the candles rotating in the lower compartment of the TMG within a 10 30 degree arch which creates a 20-25 mm separation of the anterior teeth. Mandibular movement. There is also some leading translation movement in the upper compartment during maximum mouth opening. Mandibular movement protrusive. When the mandibular slides forward so that the maxillar and mandibular anterior teeth are in end-to-end -end relationship, it is in a protrusive position. Ideally, the anterior segment of the mandible travel a path guided, guided by the contacts between the anterior teeth with complete disocclusion of the posterior teeth. Mandibular movement, lateral excursion. Mandibular movement to one side will place it in working side and the other side will be the non-working side. In this type of movement, the handle on the NW side will are forward and medially. The handle on the working side will shift laterally and slightly posteriorly. Bennett movement. During lateral excursion, the bodily shift of the mandible in the direction of the working side was first described by Bennett. The angle formed in the horizontal plane between the pathway of the NW candle with the mandibular translation and the sagittal plane is called the Bennett angle. Positive postals envelope of motion. Maximum protrusion, protruded contact position, edge of to edge position of incisors, centric occlusion, maximum intercuspation, centric relation, retruded contact position, rest position, chewing the stroke, rotation, terminal hinge, axis opening, translation, maximum opening. Difference between natural and artificial occlusion. Natural teeth, artificial teeth. Natural, natural teeth, artificial teeth.
PDO requirements of complete denture occlusion, stability of the denture and its occlusion when the mandible is in both centric and eccentric relations, balanced occlusal contacts, unclogging the cusps mesio distally so that the denture can settle down when the is reach resorption. Functional level balance should be obtained by vertical tools to reach crest relationship, cutting, penetrating and sharing efficiently of occlusal surface, minimal area of contact, incisal clearance during posterior functions, sharp reach, cusps and stool waves, ways to increase masticatory efficiently. Occlusal schemes requisite to fulfill the requirements. Occlusal schemes has three requisites. One, incisive units. Two, working units. Three, balancing units. Incisive units included all four incisors. Sharp units for increased in seizing efficiency. Units should not contact during mastication. They should only contact during protrusion. Shallow incisor guidance. Increased horizontal overlap to avoid interference during setting. The mandibular denture may slide anteriorly as it settles. Working units Cusps for food for good cutting and grinding efficiency. Smaller buccolingual V whites to decrease the occlusal load. Transfer transfer to the tissues. Group function at the end of the chewing cycle during a centric position. The occlusal load should be di directed to the anteroposterior center of the denture. The plane of occlusion should be parallel to the mean foundation plane of the ridge. Balancing units. Second molar should be in contact during protrusive action. They should have contact with the working site at the end of the chewing cycle. Smooth gliding contacts should be available to uninterested lateral and protrusive movements. Occlusal schemes have been classified into neutrocentric occlusion, lingualized occlusion, non anatomic occlusion, monoplane occlusion with balance, linear occlusion, balanced occlusion. Balanced occlusion, the bilateral simultaneous anterior and posterior occlusal contact of teeth in centric and eccentric positions. It is not seen in natural dentition. Characteristic requirements of balanced occlusion. All the teeth of the working uh, side, central and scissor to second molar, should glide even against the opposing teeth. No single tooth should produce any interference of uh, this occlusion of the other teeth. There should be contacts in the balancing side, but they should not interfere with the smooth gliding movements of the working side. There should be simultaneous contact during protrusion. Importance of balanced occlusion. Balanced occlusion is one of the most important factors that affect dentistry stability. Absence of occlusal balance will result in leverage of the denture during mandibular movement. Shepard stated that interbolus exit balance according to this Statement, the balancing contact is absent when food entered the oral cavity. This makes 
as sync uh, that balanced occlusion has no function during mastication and it's not essential in a complete denture but this is not true on an average a normal individual makes masticatory tooth contact only for 10 minutes in one full day compared to four hours of total tooth contact during other functions so for these four hours of tooth contact balanced occlusion is important to maintain the stability of the denture and hence balanced occlusion is more critical during parafunctional movements general considerations for balanced occlusion the wider and larger the ridge and teeth closer to the ridge the greater the lever balance wider the ridge and now where the teeth buccolingually greater the balance the more lingual the teeth are placed in relation to the ridge crest the greater the balance the more centered the force of occlusion anterior posteriorly the greater the stability of the base. Types of balanced occlusion. Occlusal balance of balanced occlusion can be classified as follows. Unilateral balanced occlusion, bilateral balanced occlusion, protrusive balanced occlusion, lateral balanced occlusion. Unilateral balance occlusion. This is a type of occlusion seen on occlusal surface of teeth. On one side, when they occlude simultaneously with a smooth, uninterrupted glide. This is not followed during complete denture construction. It's more pertained to fixed pressure partial dentures bilateral balanced occlusion this is a type of occlusion that is seen when simultaneous contact occurred, occurs on both sides in centric and eccentric positions bilateral balanced occlusion helps to distribute the occlusal load evenly across the arch and therefore helps to improve stability of the denture during centric eccentric or parafunctional movements for minimal occlusal balance there should be at least three points of contact on the occlusal plane more than number of contacts better the balance bilateral balanced occlusion can be protrusive or lateral balance Clinical remount purpose to, cor um, to correct for the fact that adjusted denture bases seat more accurately than record bases, accommodate for errors made during the making of centric relation records, measure twice, cut once. Clinical remount. Seat the posterior palatal seal, place two cotton rolls between the posterior teeth and have the patient write down for five minutes. Clinical remount, lingualized occlusion. The maxillary denture has already been mounted on the articulator with the plaster remount uh, cast and maxillary face ball transfer tip. Clinical remount, lingualized occlusion. Place compound sticks in the water bath at 105 degrees. And make sure you use enough compound to cover the posterior teeth. Apply the melts, melted uh, compound to the occlusal surfaces of the posterior teeth. Clinical remount, lingualized occlusion. Make centric relation record and prove the record carry to mouse and have the patient close in centric relation just short of tooth contact 
while making the record instruct the patient to retune and elevate the tongue. This will ensure that the candles are properly seated while making the record. Clinical remark, lingualized occlusion. Remove the record, uh, chill in cold water and trim so that only the cusp tip indentations remain. Trim the buccal side so that seating of the dentures can be visually checked. Clinical remark, lingualized occlusion. Return the record to the mouse and recheck the record. Contact should be equal and simultaneous bilaterally if not repeat the record. Observe the maxillary denture as the patient closes. If the denture moves during close, repeat the record. Clinical remount lingualized occlusion. Using the remount cast, the dentures are mounted on the articulator. Make sure to lock the candles in centric while remounting the dentures. Clinical remount lingualized occlusion. Begin by equilibrating in centric relation. If your original centric relation record was correct, little or no adjustment will be necessary. Clinical remount lingualized occlusion. Make a protrusive record. Instruct the patient to bring their mandible forward 8 or 10 mm when making the record. Evaluation of draw relation. Draw relation are once again verified. Centric relation is verified, vertical dimension is verified. Clinical remount lingualized occlusion. Protrusive record. Transfer the record the articulate to the articulator and insert one of the protrusive inserts. Hold the upper member of the articulator down into the record and adjust the condylar inclination. Clinical remount, lingualized occlusion, protrusive record. A step a steeper insert, 30 degrees, was eventually chosen. The dentures are seated in the protrusive record and the condylar shaft is in contact with the protrusive insert. We are now ready, if necessary, to equilibrate in excursions. Clinical remount, lingualized occlusion. Check excursions. This is protrusive. If necessary, adjust the occlusion to restore bilateral balance. A clinical remount, lingualized occlusion. Bilateral balance in lateral. Centric balancing working. Lingualized occlusion. Indication for use. High aesthetic demand, several mandibular ridge atrophy, displaceable uh, sporting tissues, malocclusion, previous uh, successful denture with lingualized occlusion, adventures, good aesthetics, freedom of non anatomic teeth, potential for bilateral balance, centralized vertical forces, minimizes tipping forces, facility. This bolus uh, penetration, mortal and pestle effect. Clinical remount monoplane occlusion. Use eccentric relation record and the remount cast to mount lower. Clinical remount monoplane occlusion. Neto centric. Equilibrate in eccentric first. Clinical remount monoplane occlusion. Metrocentric. When complete, all of the maxillary and mandibular posterior teeth plus the central scissors will be on the occlusal plane. Clinical remand monoplane occlusion. Monoplane with balancing ramps. Balancing ramp is incorporated into the denture base. Equilibrate in centric as before. Clinical remand monoplane occlusion. Retrusive balancing working. 
equilibrate in working, balancing, and protrusive. Evolution of denture aesthetics, sleep, support, cheek, support, vertical head, low lip line, high lip line, smile line, are examined. Exa Evaluating of speech, the patient is asked to speech of read aloud. If there is any error in the denture, patient will have difficulty in pronunciation of a s a certain words. Paper baby 6655, counting from 50 to 60. Post insertion instructions. Appointment schedule. First appointment within 48 hours of delivery. Second appointment within 3 days. Third appointment within 1 week or of uh, second visit. Different experiences and discomforts to be explained to patient. First oral feeling of fullness, retention on comparison between natural and artificial teeth, saliva increase of salivation, speech change, eating specific type of and manner, time position and problems with the lower denture in uh, contrast with the upper denture a list of intra list of instructions wearing of dentures and habituation denture hygiene and care eating habits speech gagging patient management explains the following to the patient limitation of the dangers, expected teeth response, care of the statics and tissues, desirable follow-up treatment. Heart classification of patients, philosophical, exacting, indifferent, hysteric, hysterical. Twenty four hour check. Draw about the patient's problems and conduct a through oral examination. Check the denture for pressure areas and adjust the denture as needed with PIP. Check borders for over extension with disclosing wax and adjust as needed. Alert occlusion, refine equilibration as necessary and recheck, finish and polish. Classification of post insertion denture problems. Most of the complaints associated with the complete dentures are actual and non physiological, contrary to the belief of most clinicians. There was no statistically significant uh, relationship between patient age and uh, systemic health and danger complaints but statistically a significant relationship exists between types of danger danger faults and complaints classification of post insertion danger problems Complaints about uh, comfort of the denture, so spots, burning the sensation, redness, paint in TMG, tongue and cheek beating, throwing and sore throat, nausea and gagging, deepness, cut of the muscles of mastication. Complaints about function of the denture, 
instability or poor feet, interference when throwing, clicking, complaints about aesthetics, fullness under the nose, depressed uh, filtrum or nasal labial sulcus, upper lip sunken it in, too much of teeth exposed, artificial look, paint about phonetics, whistle on C sounds, lisp on C sounds, indistinct or TH and T sounds, T sounds like TH, F and V sounds, indistinct. According to Sherry, frequent complaint, except bulk, speech difficulties, masticatory shortcoming, insufficient retention, causal irritation, attractive appearance. Common complaints. Wasting, ear age, difficult swallowing, loss of taste sensation, saliva under the dentures, peculiar taste, food under the denture, dislodgement on sneezing, dislodgement on drinking, drooling at the corner of the mouth, inability to chew with equal vigor or both sides. Rude and sharp surfaces, dull teeth, halitosis, dry mouth, mostly teeth, check lip and tongue beating, nozzle and gagging, tingling on th of the lower lip, burning of mouth. According to Grant A, post insertion problems can be probably grouped into looseness of dentures, decreased retentive forces, increased displacing forces, discomfort associated with dentures, related to impression surface of denture, related to occlusal surface, related to polished surface related to possible systemic association. Support problems, problems associated with retention and stability. Other difficulties, noise or eating and spitting, speech problems, eating difficulties, altered taste sensations, gagging. Denture complaints in relation to time of delivery, immediate complaints, delayed complaints, problems without complaints. Presentation of patients with complaint, formed patients of possible problems, uninformed patient, sense of pain, sense of loss waste of time and money, sense of state. Pain, overextension of borders, poor fitting or surface dentures, error during impression making, incorrect centric relation or cuspal interference, excessive vertical dimension, unoven occlusion balance and anterior contact at CR. Inadequate relief to the prominent genial tuberculosis and millet reach. Loose denture. PPC is not successfully made. Lingually placed posterior teeth, laboratory placed mandibular anterior teeth, dryness of mouth, crucial this Pencils, inaccurate impression making, walking, tilting dangers, poor retention, 
Modules of acrylic faulty impressions, poor processing techniques, faulty aesthetics, unrealistic expectations, over supported or under supported dentures, altered vertical dimension, defective speech, increased vertical dimension, differently of palatal contour, poor PPC region, sick lingual glands or restricted tongue movements. In a picture, discrepancy in vertical dimension and CR, one of these zero degree posteriors, lack of occlusal balance, occlusal plane C at higher level, nose and gagging, overextended posterior limit of maxillary denture, sick posterior borders or loose denture, uncommon belief, fibrous hyperplasia, continuous wearing of ill fitting denture, usually painless, microbial infection, poor oral and denture hygiene, maintenance diabetes and oral habits, custom syndrome, Lungs over closure, deafness, tinnitus, tenderness over TMG, dryness of mouth, neurologic symptoms, bearing sensation of tongue, throat, and headache. Common complaints. With link high wall palate, ear age, TMG problem, food and saliva under danger may be deficient of borders, loss of taste, check beating, lack of horizontal overlap, decreased VD or buccal placement of teeth, rolling saliva, inadequate VD, allergy, pigment or residual monomer of denture resin. Complaints about comfort of denture causes and treatment. Complaints about matches and denture of the denture causes and treatment. Complaints about phonetics causes and treatment. 24 hour check. Ask the patient. Where worrying of dangers and habituation. Within two or twenty four hours of wearing dangers, little discomfort will be there, leading to soreness, and there will be excessive salivation, which has to be swallowed. Denture removed eight hours every. 24 hours, the resulting force can be damaging to the teeth. During the rest period, the denture should be kept in water or produce most antiseptic. If any pain, ulceration and or burning sensation after wearing denture, hurt counsel dentist. Before sleeping, soak the denture overnight in fresh, clean water. Denture should not uh, be soaked in hot water. This can cause thermal change and can uh, distort dentures. Create the occlusion. Open contact. If you observe change, repeat the clinical in mind procedure.
complete denture manipulation neuromuscular control may be the single most significant factor in the successful manipulation of complete dentures on the function tongue function and denture wearing experience and important prognosis indicators common problems mandibular denture discomfort poor retention and stability lack of support maxillary denture poor retention and stability aesthetics and phonetics discomfort may be secondary to open vertical dimension of occlusion great centric relation record lack of occlusal balance poor denture base adaptation inappropriate denture base extensions retention and stability compromised by occlusal discrepancies poor denture base adaptation inadequate denture extensions these factors are controlled by the dentist retention and stability also affected by moderate to severe absorption unfavorable floor of mouth posture retreated tongue position reduced salivary flow poor neuromuscular control these factors are beyond the control of the dentist possible solutions Osseous integrated implants, denture, gizzards, permanent soft liners. Dentures retained with osseous integrated implants, denture gizzards, power crane and pads, permanent soft liners. Silicon elastomers. Speech. Speaking with new dentures requires practice, so read all loud and repeat the word those which are difficult to pronounce this time speech will be better will with dentures the acts of coughing and uh, sneezing often dislodges the denture and result in an embarrassing situation embarrassment can be avoided by covering the mouth with a hand to prevent denture from coming out Problem with phonetics. Complaints with aesthetics. Egging. Denture hygiene. Since most properly before wearing dentures, dentures must be cleaned properly before and after meals using denture brushes. Clean tongue and skin over the bone properly and massage the skin over bone gently using clean finger. Inside surface of dentures must be cleaned delicately wheezing, using clean finger wet cotton. It is short. You should not use any patient should not use any abrasive and detergents to clean their dentures patients shouldn't make any adjustment or repair by himself denture gigan poor denture gigan can result in causal irritation inflammatory papillary replasia denture stomatitis chronic candidis stainless retention halitosis Chemical denture cleaners and sonic cleaners for dentures. Manual cleaning, brushing. Tink. Tink. 
nutrition and diet. Introduction. Diet is the total oral intake of substance the fur furnished nourishment and calories to the body. Nutrition is biochemistry and at the cellular level. It is the science of our body utilize food to growth, development and maintenance of tissues and structures. Definition Nutrition. Nutrition is defined as a study of ingestion, digestion, absorption, transport, metabolism and excretion of the chemical forms in food. Diet. It's defined as a total oral intake of substance that furnish nourishment and calories. Nutrients. The, these are organic and inorganic complexes contained in food. There are about 50 different nutrients which are normally supplied through the foods. Each nutrient has a specific function in the body. Nutrition is classified as macronutrition, micronutrition, and classification of foods. bodybuilding foods, energy giving foods and protective foods. Also be classified as proteins, carbohydrates, fats and lipids, vitamins, minerals, fibers and water. Serostomy affects almost on in five older adults. When cellular levels decline, teeth become more susceptible to dental caries. Exposed root surfaces of teeth are particularly at risk, also impair complete denture retention and is associated with increased periodontal disease, burning or soreness of oral mucosa and difficulties or in chewing and swallowing, all of which can adversely affect food selection and contribute to poor nutritional status. Sense of taste and smell. Effects of dentures on taste and swallowing. Nutrition care for danger wearing patient. Impact of dental status of food intake. Nutritional needs and status of elderly. Calcium and bone health. Climacteric. Vitamin sub supplementation.
here the counseling of patients undergoing sodontic treatment. Nutrition guidelines for orthodontic patient. Conclusion: Success of a complete denture prosthetic is mainly influenced by the mucosal condition of the denture bearing areas. So the patient has to be well nourished and consume a well balanced diet. Dietary guidance based on assessment of the edentulous patient nutrition history and diet should be an integral part of comprehensive. Prostodontic treatment.